Welcome back to Morning Dose. Well, it's a brand new series that will take viewers on a journey to find aliens, vengeful spirits, and more. It's time to see what to watch. So let's check in with my girl Hillary. Good morning, Hillary. Good morning. Do you guys like things that are creepy and paranormal? No. Uh, well, <laughs> a lot of people do, and actor Rob Lowe will debut a new TV series called The Low Files in August, in which he teams up with his two sons in search of the paranormal. Check it out. Since I was a little boy, I've loved spooky legends and scary mysteries. And when I had boys of my own, we bonded over those campfire stories. We're going on a search for Sasquatch. For Sasquatch. We debated whether Bigfoot was real. That is a real track of Bigfoot. Or if ghosts really existed. And we swore that one day we would find out those answers together. That day has come. Well, in his search for the paranormal, it seems that Rob and his sons actually found something. Lowe recently told Entertainment Weekly about an incredible encounter he had with Bigfoot. He said, we're 100 miles from the nearest town. It's one in the morning. There's a lot of serious former military men with loaded weapons. And then something starts approaching our camps that is defying their orders to stop. He goes on to say that he's fully aware of how crazy he sounds, but he was lying on the ground thinking that he was going to be killed. This show sounds like one that I'm going to Sasquatch. Uh, Gary, do, I do like you, that. Thank you. I like that. Do you believe in Bigfoot, Gary? Uh, absolutely. I don't think you can disprove anything you have yet to prove. So I'm all about Bigfoot, Sasquatch. And we got a guy actually on the horn here who runs a company, and he's exactly as inundated with searching for and hopefully finding that one elusive Bigfoot as the rest of us. This is president and director of field operations, TJ Biscardi of searching for Bigfoot. TJ, first and foremost, thanks for joining us. You have like seven documentaries on this one topic. So are you in the Rob Lowe category? This sort of just had you infatuated from a young age? Yeah, you know, Rob Lowe's got nothing on us. We're actually boots on the ground seven to 10 months a year looking for this creature following up on investigations. Perfect, all right, well, how about this? On your searches for Bigfoot, have yeah. you found anything? We have. Um, I've had an encounter in Paris, Texas back in 2008 uh, that got me involved in this. Um, I thought I was chasing a guy in a monkey suit and realized that once I got close enough, it was actually a live animal. This wasn't supposed to exist. And I've been on the road ever since trying to um, capture this creature following in my father's footsteps. TJ, here's the question that I have because Lowe claims that he found or experienced a Bigfoot sighting in the Ozarks, which is, you know, the Mississippi's, the Arkansas's. You say Texas, we hear about these sightings in Oregon and Alaska. So does that mean there's more than one Bigfoot, one Sasquatch? Because I don't imagine these guys are hitching rides to these other places. <laughs> Great question, Gary. You know, uh, we, based on our information and calculations, estimate there's probably 5,000 to 8,000 um, just in North America alone. They're nocturnal creatures. They travel and feed at night. And there's apparently a big bounty for the person that you guys are trying to solicit. Hey, find me a Bigfoot and there's a cash reward if you can. There is. Uh, our company, uh, our parent company, Bigfoot Projects Investments Incorporated, has put a uh, $1 million Bigfoot bounty out for uh, information or leading to the capture of this creature. And uh, we'd love to get out there and drive over to you and pay it to you. TJ, here's the thing. Obviously, the one million would be nice. And it's all good, well, and fine to map out an expedition to go find Bigfoot. And it's nice and fun to say you're going to go find him. But what are you going to do when you get toe-to-toe -to -toe with a nine-foot tall beast in the middle of the wilderness? What do you do then? All training sort of goes out the window because that's really unprecedented territory. Well, uh, great question, Gary. Uh, we'd like to capture it uh, using, you know, tranquilizers, hopefully uh, study it a little bit, and then uh, release it back to the wild. Fantastic. Hopefully get some protection for it. Fantastic. TJ, very much appreciated for your time and uh, happy hunting. Good luck. I hope someone reaches out hey. for you for that $1 million bounty. Yeah, don't forget to come check us out at searchyforbigfoot.com and get that $1 million. Much appreciated, TJ. Thanks. Have a good day. Hey, watch out behind you. I think it. No, morning. just kidding. All right, much appreciated, TJ. All right, guys, so obviously Bigfoot potentially could be out there, could be right here in your backyard. Well, he could be right here know. next to me. Have no. you seen uh, Have you seen Brandon stand up? Six foot five, that's a sharp just saying, that's a big boy. The only Bigfoot I know are these big size 14s on my foot. Now, that's a big.